island feet is like feet that are very long and very wide and kind of flat. Hmm, island feet. I'm Samoan in Tuvaluan. I love shoes. I definitely love shoes and I love helping people. So I was doing a course of Tiwana and the idea of business came up. The very first thing that came to my mind was um, I'm going to open a shoe store. I actually decided to roll with it after that. I thought, oh, I just want to see if it can be done. I had problems um, finding shoes myself. I have quite big wide feet. I struggled so much finding shoes that I like. There were shoes that were big but they were never trendy or you know and so I wanted to bring in some real hip trendy kind of shoes. I wanted something to fit my feet and so that's why I was quite focused, determined on the big shoes I had. So my upbringing was quite difficult. Um, I got kicked out of school. I lived in a whole lot of different homes growing up. I got, I got pregnant when I was 16, so I was a mum quite young, I got married. Now I'm stable, I, um, you know, like I have a good working history and um, I have three children and been married for a long time. One of the biggest things is attitude. Your attitude will determine whether or like how you look at a problem, whether or not you're going to face it and try and overcome it or you're going to give up. I read books a lot, so I'm always um, reading new books. I read a lot of like self-help, um, business marketing kind of books. I'm just reading this book over there that I'm just currently reading. So that's working on my attitude as well. One of the things is that you've got to be willing to learn. For example, when I first started, I had no idea how to do a website. Well, I know what a website is and that's about it. Like I only know what a website is. But now I'm able to do basic coding. But I get a lot of um, people who write to me about how they don't agree with my prices. But, you know, they write to me and they say things like, oh, you're trying to rip off our community. Um, you know, you're a Samoan. Who do you think you are? Selling $200 shoes to Islanders. Like, you know, that sort of thing. And um, how, do you, how do you deal with it? I usually, like, write about it. Oh, just my own. Like, I'll write a whole note about this person and how they made me feel and stuff. And usually once that's done, it's done. My achievements and cool stuff that's happened to me in the last 12 months. The first thing I did was I started the brand, so I got it open. I've been featured in the Herald and 22 other um, publications, blogs, articles, um, including one by Shopify in um, America, and Canada actually. I've been to Australia, Hong Kong, China, and America. I've lasted a whole year. That's a big achievement. <laughs> By the end of 2017, I have a goal to make sure that these we have shoes in Vienna, Spain, France, every state of Australia. Oh, 2017 is super exciting. <laughs> I hope Gustavia's determination has inspired you. Here's some awesome tips that we've taken away from her business journey so far. <laughs> Gustavia's business idea came from a light bulb moment at Wananga. And although she wasn't a savvy businesswoman yet, she didn't say no to that voice in her head. So I was doing a course of Tiwana and the idea of business came up. The very first thing that came to my mind was um, I'm going to open a shoe store. Don't be that person who says, I thought of that idea five years ago. It's the doers that take a chance on success and turn their dreams into reality. <laughs> Gustavia didn't have a heap of money, well, actually, she didn't have any money, or a website when she first got started. The first thing I did was I started the brand, so I got it open. You don't have to wait for perfection, or next year, to get started on your goal. Whether it's to study, start a business, or apply for a new job, you can solve any hurdle that comes your way with determination and a great attitude. We grow our muscles in the gym, and we grow our minds when we study and learn. But how often do we invest in our attitude, 
mindset and self-awareness. I read books a lot, so I'm always um, reading new books. I read a lot of like self-help, um, business marketing kind of books. There are heaps of free tools online to help you grow yourself. More Umfa stories are a great place to start. Fafitai lava to you, Gustavia, for sharing your extraordinary story. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out more extraordinary Kiwi stories.